so y'all hubby finally brought the fish tank from the california house here we gotta get some more fish though we just got a few fish <laughs> in the tank but it's really making it feel a lot more like home now that the fish tank is here and once bosco comes full time and it'll really feel like home here so yeah i found when i was in hawaii <laughs> they were serving this moscato out there so i found it online i'm sure a lot of you guys are probably already familiar with it but i found it online and i stocked up on it oh my gosh this is like one of the best Moscatos, you guys. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. If you like sweet, um, yeah, this is it. So I got <laughs> like a whole case of 12 so that, you know, I will have it on deck. I really don't drink that much though. So um, that's gonna last me a while. But anyway, we getting ready to go grab a bite to eat this is what i'm wearing today my cute little roddy t-shirt okay distressed jeans as usual and i have on some black nikes with like a thick white sole very casual okay nothing crazy got my shades of course tomorrow um i plan on doing my hair so i'm so ready for these to come out they're so quick and easy but i've had these way too long and i was just kind of waiting till i got back from my trips to switch it out so yeah i'm going to um do something different not sure what but i'll be working on that tomorrow you guys will see but yeah this is a uh, still can't see my feet in this little mirror but this is the look for today so yeah this is um a little bit of my house i don't know if i'll actually do a house tour but you guys will see bits and pieces of it as i'm vlogging this is basically <clears throat> like the entry living room area um this is the dining room as you can see where the fish tank is and then, you know, when you come this way, this is more so like the kitchen, kitchen, nook, and family room. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I will do an actual house tour, but you guys will see bits and pieces um, as I vlog. It's kind of dark in here. Can't really see me. My camera is blurry, too. So yeah, I don't know, this, the front facing camera on this phone is trash, absolute trash. I have the fold. So, well, the selfie camera is trash. The front facing camera, very nice, works amazing. But the selfie camera, trash, which sucks because y'all know I do makeup, take selfies, do videos, vlog, all that stuff. <clears throat> and I use my phone. So I'm thinking about getting a different phone for that very reason and I'm kind of tired of this folding phone but anywho yeah so we can ready to go grab a bite to eat <laughs> and we in Vegas so you know we might hit a few slots or whatever but yeah the lighting in here is better I'm in hubby's office right now so standing in front of the mirror just to get a little bit better lighting <laughs> anyway I ain't talking about nothing I'll give it y'all later.
Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. So, it is laundry day. I'm going to do some laundry this morning. So, I pulled out my laundry bag, pulled out hubby's laundry, and that's what I'm doing this morning. It is bright and early. Look, y'all probably listen. You see what time it is? It is oh dark 30, okay? It's 520 in the a.m., it is still bright and early in the morning, but yeah, I'm going to do laundry this morning. I'm doing my hair this morning, and which reminds me, y'all tell me why <laughs> I saw this thing advertised on Instagram. So of course I went on Amazon to find one, you know, that I could buy just in case, you know, it's garbage or I don't like it, then that way I can just send it back easily but it's this little hula hoop thing that's supposed to be for exercise and working out so i'm gonna open this up later and we can look at this and see what's happening y'all might see me acting a fool later but i thought it might be something fun to do something different so anyway i'll check that out in a minute but i'm taking these locks out of my hair today so y'all just gonna walk with me i don't know what's up with my camera <clears throat> um but i want to use my shower that's in my closet so i'm gonna grab my shampoo and conditioner out of my main shower i have this uh my camera is tripping this morning or is it my eyes anyway i'm grabbing my shampoo and conditioner out of here so i can put this in my closet bathroom and once I take my locks out then I'll go ahead and put you know I gotta wash my hair relax my hair today too because I'm gonna try something different <laughs> so I'm gonna put this here in this bathroom for now I have this um what is it the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo I like this shampoo and then I have this um coconut miracle oil conditioner so i'll be using that today for my hair i got let me show you guys <laughs> this hair i'm trying this for the very first time i ordered these off amazon so ciao you know how that goes it's called nia wigs 100 percent human hair let me show you what they look like okay so it says nia wigs 100 percent human hair but um like i said i got these off of amazon and these are tape ends so I wanted to try something quick and easy and different <laughs> so that I've never tried before um, as far as extensions go. Um, so I guess this is like extra tape strips um, and it gives you information on the hair as well as how to care for them and all that stuff. But yeah, like I said, I've never, so it comes packaged like this. And you can see here uh, the tape strips. But I've been watching a lot of videos and stuff on these and wanted to try them out. So you guys know I like to do like ombre colored hair, but I figured, you know, I better try something <laughs> natural looking or, you know, my same hair color just for my first time trying these, but the hair is very, very much like, you know, kinky straight, kinky straight or whatever, um, you know, African-American hair or whatever. So it feels really good too. It feels really, really nice, you guys. But this is what the, you know, ends look like. So it has the tape on there. So, you know, you just attach these in your own hair and then blend it out so you guys will see how these <laughs> look on me because honey i'm about to try these today and see if i like it and how it blends with my natural hair so this is basically my plan for today because i don't know how long this is going to take but i got two packs hopefully it's enough they came pretty quick they came like next day so if i feel like if i put one in and I feel like two is not going to be enough. I'll just have to order some more today so I can get them tomorrow. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, y'all. It's a hair day. It's a laundry day. 
I have some stuff over here also that I need to, I want to do a, a little unboxing, but I have some more stuff coming this week, so I might end up waiting until the rest of my stuff comes, you know, before I do an unboxing for you guys, but I have a new Brahmin purse that I ordered, and I'm hoping it's as pretty in person as it was online. I've got this bag. Um, so it's not unboxing, but I got this bag when I was on the cruise. It's like this super bright backpack from Guess. Got that on a really good deal on the cruise ship. I got some perfume. And then I also have some uh, makeup and stuff. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing this morning. Let's go make some coffee. So y'all, this is the relaxer that I'm going to be using today. I've been using this relaxer for quite a while. Um, it's just the normal olive oil, new growth hair relaxer. I literally relax my hair like twice a year. <laughs> Seriously, if that, depending on what hairstyle I do. I do, but because I'm doing the tape ins, I have to relax my hair. So this is what I'm gonna be using today. So it has the actual relaxer base in here. Um, it has the activator, comes in this little thing. Everything pre-measured, of course. And I think this is, is this specifically? Yeah, this is specifically just a new growth kit. So this is not for like relaxing your whole head. It's just for the new growth. Has the replenishing pack, moisturizer stuff, and then it has the neutralizing shampoo. It's really easy. And then the instructions, and there's some gloves and like a stir stick in here, as you can see. So yeah, it's like I said, I've been doing this for years. It's really easy. I only do it like once, <laughs> maybe twice a year. Cause girl, yeah, so anyway. I'll be doing this before I do the tape ends. I put these um, tape ends, you know, the tape ends in my hair and the um, texture and color is actually a really good match 
as you can see, like my hair is in there and it's really hard to tell like, you know, where my hair stops and where the tape ends begin. Um, but uh, I don't really like them. <laughs> I just find that I don't wanna have to, to put heat on my hair. I don't wanna have to deal with my hair. Um, and it's probably gonna end up just getting even more damaged if I just go with these tape ends. But I do like the way they feel. They feel amazing. And like I said, it's a really good texture and color match for my hair. I don't know, I'm trying to show you guys, but yeah. Um, but right now I'm in the process of taking them out. I already took some out in the front, took well, all of them out in the front. So you can see here, like the difference in my hair and the actual, you know, tape ends, which is right here. So yeah, I'm taking them out right now. I don't like them. So I think I'm gonna braid my hair instead. Okay, you guys, so it's two o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning. I told you guys I didn't like those tape ends. So your girl always keeps hair and different hairstyles on deck. I went ahead and braided my hair and put some crochet uh, braids in here with the pretty little blonde curls in them. So yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs> I like this much better. So yeah, did that. It's 2.30. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired and I will see you tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff to unbox tomorrow. So yeah, we'll take care of that in the morning. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So I'm just getting my morning started. Um, today is going to be a bill pay day. Um, very thankful and blessed to be able to pay bills, but I don't like bill pay day. <laughs> I don't like bill pay day. Bill pay day is a lot of work for your girl, okay? Because I have to pay bills for two households and a business so it's a lot it is a lot even though i have a lot of stuff on auto pay i still have a lot to do today so i have to fold up all the laundry that i didn't finish folding yesterday and let me put this tv um on mute if i can find a remote but yeah so i am getting my life together right now. I'm gonna have some coffee. I have to answer comments. I feel so terrible with answering comments. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really, really am, am going to get better at that. I'm so, so sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna sit down, have me some coffee, answer some comments. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today, okay? Um, I might go ahead and open up these blinds, but it gets really hot. That's why I try to keep the blinds closed because it gets really, really hot. But just looking outside, it looks like a beautiful, beautiful day. So, yeah. Um, the hell? Here's some strange sounds. But anyway, so yeah, it's bill pay day. So I'm about to get my coffee together, sit down for a couple hours, <laughs> and uh, do this, and then... What else do I need to do today? There's some stuff I gotta get from Lowe's. I gotta do some running around for the house. So yeah, I'm gonna run some errands today, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, say happy Tuesday, good morning. And um, I'll try and take you guys with me with whatever I do today, okay? So yeah. <laughs>
Good morning, you guys. So I'm getting a very late start. It's actually almost 11, no, it's after 11. It's almost, almost noon, but I couldn't sleep last night. I was like tossing and turning. And then it was like, maybe, I don't know, let me turn this light on. It was like three o'clock in the morning. I got up was just watching TV, watching YouTube. I started watching this crazy series on Netflix called Echoes. Um, and it held my attention for a couple of episodes and then I kind of got bored with it. I'm like that with stuff. If it take too long to kind of get to the get to the gusto, I get bored. So I'm just looking at the fridge right now because I want to have some smoothie, but <laughs> I don't know if it's any good anymore. I have been, I got this Bolt House, the green smoothie. This is like my favorite one, this green one here. But since I kind of been on vacation a little bit, I don't know if it's any good. So I'm about to put on my glasses and check this date before I just get to drinking stuff. Okay. Okay, so it says September 5th of 22. So I'm still safe because it's still August. So we about to drink some of this smoothie <laughs> this morning for breakfast. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little grocery store order because this is the last that I have and I kinda wanna like chill out on food for a minute. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I wanna just like clean out my system somehow. So I wanna do like smoothies fruit, water, stuff like that. But one thing I can never give up is coffee. I, I don't care what kind of diet, um, what do you call it, like a fasting plan, or I can't give up coffee. Like if you guys have any good like coffee recipes that are still sweet and delicious, but have zero calories, which I know they make uh, zero calorie or no sugar creamers and stuff like that. And I do use my Splenda, but it's gotta be good. It has got to taste good, okay? So if y'all got any suggestions for how I can still have a delicious coffee while I'm just trying to be good, let me know, honey, let me know. And another thing that I really wish that I could give up is dairy. I hear so many things about how bad dairy is for you I just I can't, I just couldn't imagine eating a burger with no cheese on it I can't mm -mm, I can't eat no burger with no cheese on it no cheesy eggs no sandwich a turkey sandwich with no cheese on it Cha. I really don't drink milk milk I could give up 100% because I can drink almond milk and stuff like that, or if I want a bowl of cereal. I can't remember last time I had a bowl of cereal. I don't do cereal, and I used to tear some cereal up. But milk, I could definitely give up. Um, but it's like, I think it gets hard, you know, when you start cooking and needing dairy or milk substitutes and stuff like that, and then that's when you really have to kind of get stuff in your refrigerator and your pantry. I guess to substitute for milk, but I know there's so many different substitutes that it's not an issue at this point, but it's like, do they make any good cheese substitutes? Is there any cheese that melts the same, looks the same, is basically just like cheese, but it's not cheese. <laughs> that is my concern when it comes to giving up dairy is the cheese aspect of it, so yeah. Y'all let me know on that too, because I feel like so many people talk about how bad dairy and milk products are for you that I want to try it out because right now it's a struggle, child. I'm going through a lot of different changes with my body, with my sleeping, just how I feel every day. And I used to be able to break myself out of certain cycles just by being healthier, working out more, eating lighter, da 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 But it's like, it's something going on with this body then, honey. 
I have no control over right now. And it's really frustrating. And it's hard when you're not getting any sleep. It's hard when you're back and forth and moving a lot and, you know, traveling a lot and stuff. It's hard to really get yourself together. So y'all pray for me. Y'all got any suggestions? Leave them down in the comment section below, honey, because I know I'm not the only one, but I know I'm sick and tired of it. And I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of it. So your girl got to figure this out, okay? And I'm not one to pop a bunch of pills and take a bunch of supplements and all that stuff. I really would like to find some natural, healthy ways to just kind of help me break through, you know, this, you know, aging thing that I'm going through. So help your girl out, okay? Because I know some of y'all want to have some good suggestions for me, okay? But I got to get it together. So anyways, let's go upstairs and unbox some stuff. Okay, y'all, so, y'all, does somebody know, or can you tell me why being in love just makes you want to eat? <laughs> why does being in love make you want to eat? Why does being depressed make you want to eat? Why does being sad, being mad, being angry make you want to eat? Why? <laughs> Why? Because at any given moment, I can be all of those things. <laughs> so, why? So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this stuff. I just want to share it with you guys. I'm not about to be doing a whole lot of talking. I'm just going to show you guys some of my latest purchases. And hopefully, I can remember where I got this stuff. Hopefully. Okay, let's just start with Ulta because I went on Ulta and there were some things that were on sale like a week or so ago. It's always something on sale on Ulta, but I was in a mood to shop. So I'm going to turn on this fan. I'm sorry if y'all can hear it, but it is hot. So, which y'all probably can't hear it. That's annoying. Let me turn on my fan. That's up above and see if that's better. Okay. So, yeah, Ulta is always having a sale. So, let me just show you guys what I got from Ulta first. And then I'll move into some of this other stuff. So, this first thing here, this Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I'm pretty sure I got this from Ulta. It's a fragrance. So, this I blind bought, you guys, which is crazy. But I blind buy perfume quite a bit. If, you know, if somebody hears or, or I hear or somebody says that it's just this and that, I'll try it. <laughs> but I got this. So really, really cute um, bottle. It's a smaller size. But, honey, we finna smell it together because this is a blind buy for me. Mmm, okay. So definitely... Mm, definitely nice grown and sexy scent. Um, it smells a little bit sweet to me. Yeah, it smells a little, ooh, I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Nice um, blind buy. I didn't miss on that one. That was a good one. Okay, so um, Ahava was having some of their products on sale, skincare stuff, and, you know, I know I don't need no more skincare or anything like that, but I do like this brand. This is the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. So I feel like I can never have too many hand creams, you know. I love just a really nice good hand cream. So I, I'm not sure if I've tried, I think I tried a different one by them. Um, so this one is one that I wanted to check out, the Dead Sea Mineral Dead Sea Water and Mineral Hand Cream. And this one is in the Scent Spring Blossom. So it's sealed. I'm not going to open it up. 
Um, I also grabbed this Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel. So that's what the box looks like for that. It is um, what looks like a pretty decent size. Yeah, pretty decent size shower gel. So um, it's in the scent Sea Kissed. So hopefully this smells really nice. It's sealed as well, so go chill on that. I got this Time to Clear all-in-one toning cleanser. So this is a three-in-one toning cleanser. So I'm really excited to try this out, cut down some skincare steps, you know, and see how I like it. Oh, I like this. It's a nice pump bottle i like the feel and it's a really nice size bottle too so yeah sorry y'all i don't remember how much i paid for all of these but like i said they were on sale okay also i picked up one of these daily concepts daily detox massage massaging brushes so this is a dry brush you know one of the brushes that you dry you know brush on your body arms skin you know your legs and stuff like that all over i guess it says it's ideal for smoothing and detoxifying your skin so although i've never tried dry brushing before i was actually looking for a really good loofah for in the shower so i could just like you know scrub my dead skin off and all that stuff in the shower but i already have some of those and so when i saw this I said, you know what, let me try out dry brushing and see if I like it or not, y'all. I don't know. I also picked up one of the new Juvia's Place blushes. This one is volume five. So, um, I don't know. There was a couple of them that I wanted to try out, but this one just kind of like stuck with me and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and try that one. So, this is... The two colors in here very pretty i also picked up one of these jacqueline cosmetics um pout drip lip oil i love lip oils so i decided to grab one of these and see this one is in maple drip i thought it was really pretty so usually with lip oils though you really can't you know see the color um but yeah this color was really pretty to me so I so said let me go ahead and check it out okay and then I just got two more things one of them was a free goodie bag you know how with Ulta if you order a certain dollar amount you can get like a free bag of goodies so I got that but this is the 35a up till dawn artistry palette I had never seen this before and then I saw it on Instagram and I was like, ooh, you know what? I haven't gotten a Morphe palette in a while or even seen one that I really piqued my interest. But this one did. And, you know, just looking at it, it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't need this, but I wanted it. So I picked this up. And you know what? Honestly, I think I actually ordered this from Morphe now that I think about it. I don't think I got this from Ulta. I think I ordered this from the Morphe website. So anyway, got that. And then lastly, I got this, this um, little goodie bag. It's a bag full of samples and like, you know, little sample products and stuff. If you spent over $70 on the Ulta website, you could just put this code in and, you know, get this bag of goodies for free which I did not need, of course, because child. But there's certain stuff in here which is like really cool. You know, like this um, Mega Babe Space Bar. It's a detoxifying charcoal underarm bar. I have one of these in my shower. Um, I forget to use it a lot of times, but I really am curious as to whether or not this helps to kind of even the skin out and stuff like that and soften it. So eventually I'll, you know, get it together and use it on a regular basis. This CEO Afterglow from Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley is, you know, they have really nice products. So there is some good stuff in here. I think this is a, yeah, dry shampoo. If you like dry shampoos, there's this in here. But yeah, some perfume samples, Lakeshore, um, 
Gucci Guilty, which I do have the full size of that. So I know that smells amazing. Um, what is this? Oh, Bad Girl Bang, you know, mascara and stuff. So yeah, there's some really good stuff. And I really used to hate like teeny tiny stuff like this, but the more I travel, that's the more I love stuff like this. Cause honey, you ain't got to bog your luggage down with a whole bunch of full size products. You can just grab some of your little sample size products and keep your luggage down to a minimum child. So this is like a triple repair moisturizing cream from La Roche Posay. You know, so yeah, I do. I like having stuff like this because honey, when you travel, just grab you some of these samples and keep your luggage light. That's everything I got from Ulta. This Volgari Omnia Coral, another new fragrance, but I got this on the ship. I got this on the Carnival Cruise. Whenever I go on a cruise, I always like to get a fragrance or two, and I also like to get like some rings. Oh, you know what? I should have showed you guys my rings, but I bought some rings and a fragrance while I was on my last cruise which was me and my husband's 10th anniversary cruise. We've been again together for 15 years, but married for 10. So, yeah, it was nice. Check out my last vlog if you haven't seen it. I have small clips in there. But I have other cruise vlogs that are more in-depth if you, you know, are curious about taking carnival cruises and stuff because they pretty much they all the same. They just go to different places, but the ships are different. This ship that we were just on, it was a smaller, older ship. I didn't like it. So I told my husband, I'm gonna have to pay more attention to the different ships and whether or not it's a size that I would like. Cause this one, it was a little too small for my liking, a little too crowded for my liking. So yeah, I'll probably go in the future on some of the newer ships and stuff like that. But anyways, this is what the packaging looks like for this fragrance really cool it looks like two chain links together and this smells really really nice i was smelling a lot of different fragrances on the cruise mm, very light very airy um very every day very very every day not this is not heavy or grown and sexy none of that very light beautiful female dainty type fragrance nice every day and i think it's gonna look pretty with the rest of my perfumes on my shelf so okay i grabbed a few things from beauty bay some palettes of course one of which i wish i wouldn't have bought because it really didn't give me that tingle when i opened it it looked better online child but the paradigm shift i like to say paradigm the paradigm shift <laughs> but it's paradigm shift um not new it's been out for a while and i mean it is pretty but i think because of the other palettes that i bought this one really became redundant to me when i looked at it you know i know somebody laughing right now like hey, hey all of those rainbow colorful palettes are redundant i know but this one really became redundant after i opened the other two that i bought it just don't have that razzle dazzle it don't give me that Give me that shit, don't, I don't, <laughs> you know? So, but it's pretty though, especially over here, these like sea green, turquoise shades, the beautiful blue, you know, and purple up here. So it's, it's a nice, it's a pretty color story, but I picked up this Jade 42 color palette. This one, I don't think, this one is not really new either. It's been out for quite a while. But I, you know, I had looked at it and had my eye on it, da 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 so I finally just bit the bullet and got it. But this color story is really pretty. It doesn't have as many bright colors. It has like some of the really pretty earthy tones in here as well. It's a nice mixture of, you know, shades. This is one that would be good for me, you know, to take to travel with. I know a lot of people don't like to travel with large palettes, but I just put them in my backpack because I carry my backpack on the plane all the time. So this one would be good for travel because you got your earthy tones, some pops of color. It's just a nice, good mix. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is a really, really pretty palette. So got that. And then lastly, I got this Bright 2.0 packaging. Crazy. <laughs> it's definitely bright. Ooh, child. 
Listen. Uh, uh, uh. This is gorgeous. But when I open a palette and it's gorgeous in person, that's that's the kicker. That's what does it for me. When I open that mug up and it's colorful in person, like what? Like get out of town. So, you know, you got your pinks, your reds, your purples, your blues, your greens, oranges, yellows, all of that. It's like, it's a rainbow color story, but just in a different type of way. It's just, it's giving, this is all you need if you like color. That's what it's giving. It has a white, it has a black, like they put some thought into this. Some blending shades, you know. I would like a few more like deepening like super duper dark shades in here but y'all the black the black is fine honey but i think what really gets me with this palette <laughs> what gives it that shut on shut on is the shimmers that are just kind of popped sporadically throughout the palette it's like you get a lot of gorgeous shimmers in here okay beautiful so anyway this ain't no review just a quick little haul so moving along <laughs> now i actually saw when you know on my ring camera when my sephora package was delivered or should i say when my sephora package was thrown on my porch <laughs> the thing that gets me is the delivery guy he walks up to the porch you know holding my box da 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 he gets about two three feet away from the door and just tosses the box on the ground I'm like, so you trying to tell me you couldn't just carry the mug for two, three more feet? Like, people really don't care. They really don't care. And you know what? I wasn't tripping off of it until I remembered that my crazy behind bought the Pat McGrath palette. Then I was like, did he just throw my box? So, child, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I got a few things from Sephora. <laughs> First thing is this Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth Sicilic Serum. Did I say that right? BHA, AHA, Sicilic <laughs> Serum. So, that's what the box looks like. But, yeah, I when I went into Sephora a few weeks ago, um, I asked the lady for a sample of it, so she gave me two little samples to try, and I tried them out, and I really love how it made my skin feel, okay? It just, it felt amazing. So, this is what the bottle looks like, and I definitely wanted to try out samples before purchasing it, because this stuff was not cheap. I don't remember how much it was. Y'all can look it up on Sephora, but... It wasn't cheap. And you know, I don't really buy skincare like that because I get so much in BoxyCharm. But this one, I really, really want it because I really like this. So I did grab that. Um, Another scent. I got the new Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry. I'm really anxious to smell this because I'm really not a huge, like, cherry fragrance. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's not like I love it. But I wanted to try this out because it's been getting some pretty good reviews. Another reason why I hesitated to buy it is because, you know, the last one that she came out with, the Eden, the Apple one, I knew I wasn't going to like that. So I didn't even waste my money. I do not like Apple scents when it comes to perfume. So I knew I wasn't going to like that. But this one and that one got kind of like mixed reviews. Some people loved it some people hated it some people wasn't sure how they felt about it they had to mix it with some other perfumes just to like it and i was like ain't nobody got time for that okay so i didn't get that um but this love fest burning cherry 48 i was like you know let me try that out it says burning cherry raspberry praline palo santo is it gaiac wood and patchouli like I know what any of that smells like, child, because I don't. But, oh, she pretty. Oh, she pretty. Look at that. Yeah, she pretty. Okay, y'all. The piece that is these folks. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. 
Oh, that's nice. This is nice. It's giving. What is it giving? Ooh. It's giving all kind of stuff, but y'all, I'm sorry. I can't. Because mm, it's, it's making me feel real kind of dainty and girly, but also sexy at the same time. It's giving. Um, what else? It's giving sweet, but not too sweet. It's giving cherry. Definitely get that cherry, but it's not like a harsh in your face cherry. It's like a really nice, soft, dainty cherry. Yes, okay, I'm happy. Cause I was like, ooh, if that stuff stink, honey, it's going right back. I like it. It smells real good. So I'm sorry, y'all. I can't really give y'all <laughs> the professional description of this scent. I like it. Your girl likes it. It smells delicious. Okay. And now, and I also have my samples. Oh, I got a palette in here. I forgot I bought that. But I have a couple of samples in here. I got the Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Intense. And then I also got this Marc Jacobs Perfect. I don't know if I have either one of these. I know I have a Marc Jacobs Daisy, but... Oh, I do have the Intense. I remember when I bought it. I bought it at Macy's with my husband. I smelled it. I fell in love with it. Yeah, I do have the Intense. So, yeah, I got that one. Um, So, yeah, I got two palettes. So, I did purchase the Huda Beauty Love Fest. Mmm. 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 I, I really kind of, I was going back and forth with whether or not I wanted to purchase it. Not because I don't think it's a beautiful palette, but because I feel like it's so similar to, sorry, all these braids are getting on my nerves. It's so similar to, um, dang, what is that other palette? You know what? Let me grab it. I feel like it's, it just reminded me so much of the naughty, you know, the vibe and the feel of it. Looking at them, yeah, they're not the same. This one, the new one, this Love Fest, it looks a little more rich, a little more, you know, deep, if you will. So let me try and hold both of these. You see what I'm saying? But maybe it's just the packaging that was really giving me the same type vibe or whatever. I'm sure there's a few shades in there that are similar, but I almost didn't buy it because I have this. But just looking at them side by side, I'm glad I did get it because it is very different. <laughs> it's, it's way more colorful. Um, yeah, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be a good time. So <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just the, the packaging that kind of was making me feel that same type of vibe, that burgundy type look. Anyway, got that. And then lastly from Sephora, I did get the latest Pat McGrath palette, child. Don't ask me why. Because I have, you know, I have quite a few Pat McGrath palettes that I feel like are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Street Sweeper. Absolutely gorgeous, but I don't use them as much as I should. So regular Pat McGrath um, brick packaging. And I just, I don't know, I just, wanted to go ahead and get it so that's what it looks like so you know you see those beautiful shimmers and everything in there gorgeous um i am going to go ahead and use this fairly soon because i am curious as far as the pretty gorgeous shimmers over here oh they are pretty and they are shifting yes they are i don't know yeah i know you can't see that but they're really really pretty so anyway got that it looks very boring but you know my mind kind of works in, in a, a different type of way now where I actually find it challenging to try and create uh, like a bold look or a bold colorful look as colorful as possible with palettes like this now, I did buy this collection from 
Glam Light, Glam Light Cosmetics. It's Michaela's latest collection. So I'm not gonna open all this stuff, y'all. I'm, I'm not, cause it's not that type of video. This is just supposed to be a quick little unboxing and haul video. But she came up with this whole like green based collection. So I'll just kind of run through it right quick. So these two things up here, these are lip sets. These are two different lip sets. I'll take them out of plastic so it won't be so much glare at least. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. But yeah, so Michaela Pot. <laughs> you know she has an accent. Pot 2. This is Pot 2. That's not her accent. That's mine. Michaela Pot 2. But this one is the Golden Dreams lip set. So that's what that looks like. And then this one is a Lucky Charm lip set, which <laughs> I'm really gonna have to do a bold look for these uh, lip sets. You get a velvety lip liner, a ultra creamy lipstick, and a stunning gloss that are bound to turn heads. Okay, you know, I wanna open one of these just because I really didn't, you know, watch a lot of stuff on it. I just looked and I saw, oh, that's cute. So this is what it looks like. Really, really cute. I like that. Um, I feel like what I did see, like one of these or maybe both might be a little light for me, but I ain't tripping. Um, you know, I like to mix and finagle stuff anyway. This is a highlighter. So it's like a brick highlighter. I'll open this up and show you guys. Oh, how cute. Look at that. That is so cute. It has this cute little handle right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's so cute. I saw somebody using this hot. Look at that. Look at that. Now I know you see that shift in there. That is pretty. I have to be feeling real bold or whatnot to um to use that. But yeah, gorgeous. But I saw somebody using this on Instagram and I was like, my mouth dropped. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um there's also eyeshadow or eyeshadows eyelashes in here high fashion packaging super cute i'm trying not to you know have so much glare for you guys but i need the light and then this is what those look like if you can see that sorry let me try to there we go that's what those look like same thing it pulls out and that's what daydreamer looks like hopefully you can see those next there's a brush set in here michaela pot 2 brush set so that's what that looks like cute eye brushes and then there was two palettes child two palettes okay and of course y'all know this, these are these palettes. These are what got me. So it's a smaller one. Smaller one. That's Michaela there on the back. Hopefully you can see that. And oh, it's that velvety. I did not know that. I, oh, I love the way that feels. <laughs> I didn't know it was the velveteen, okay? So that's what the back looks like. That's what the front looks like, okay? Oh. <gasps> oh, Chad, them shimmels. Oh, look at those shimmers, you guys. Mm, mm, mm. That is gorgeous. Chad. And then like her first one, it has the little glitter stuff in there moving around little ASMR for you girls that's pretty I like that this is really pretty show off your looks using Michaela times glam light okay so I feel like this palette is gorgeous you know purple and green heavy but I feel like beautiful shimmers lighter shades it's gorgeous um 
but this this one here this one mm, listen if you like green child, this is gorgeous but it has like the browns in there too so these are like you know really nice companion situation going here going on but if you just want to take this with you or something you don't want to take this whole big palette then you're good to go but it's they're very you know two very different um situations to me very very pretty so i am really glad that i grabbed this collection sometimes you know it's very rare when i see a collection and i'm like okay i want the whole thing very rare um, I used to do that with ColourPop a lot and I used to waste a lot of money because I would love the eyeshadow palette and I would love, you know, like the highlighter or something, but the blushes would be too light or the lip products would be too light. And it's like they just had trouble creating collections that work for everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, but this one, I really felt like I wanted, so... Okay, you guys, and lastly, I have this huge <laughs> DHL box because I ordered a bunch of stuff from P. Louise, so I'm going to try and run through this as fast as possible. I'm going to open it up, see what's in here, and then I'm probably going to end this vlog because I need to start editing it to get it up for the end of the week. So let me open this up, and we'll see what I got from P. Louise. Okay, you guys, so I got the big box open, and I got three of these smaller boxes really pretty pink boxing from p louise i like that so cute it's like a whole experience you know i have to i'm probably gonna break in a nail quite honestly because i have to pull this tab to open it Look at that, very much protected, very much so protected, okay? I do like that. So, let me just run through this stuff, child, because I don't remember what all I bought. <laughs> a lot of stuff was on sale, and your girl was in a shopping mood, okay? So, this is a P. Louise ex The Extractor. Extract those bad vibes. Erase your ex. <laughs> it's time to move on, really. So, make it melt, makeup melter, so cute packaging of course um so let me see oh okay so it's like a little jar in here of makeup melter oh how cute very very cute little jar of makeup melt so that's cute I, that's one thing i never have enough of i don't feel like it's actual makeup melts and makeup removers okay oh and this is a set this is um one of their palette sets so i did grab this let me quickly run through these child so this one is the stack them up which is the blue one dang i don't want this, this video is gonna be long okay because i may as well show y'all the palettes right so this is the Talk is Cheap. They, these things be having five million names. What is this? Stack them up, say less, and do more. Talk is Cheap. This is kind of my mantra, though. <laughs> I definitely feel that way, honey. Say less and do more. Please, please say less and do more, honey, because talk is very, very cheap, and I don't want to hear it. So, yeah, this is already my favorite. <laughs> That is definitely my mantra, honey. Okay, so uh, let's see. What's your favorite position? Seriously? Seriously? Like, have you seen my silhouette? It's giving main character energy. Okay, so this one, child. I guess it's called What's Your Favorite Position? Beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, what's next? This green one here, which is called Invest in Yourself, Babe. Health is the wealth. Period. Okay. Ooh, okay. Greens. Beautiful. 
And you know, Pew Louise shadows are on point, so I'm definitely not worried about quality. But it has some good sales, y'all. This one is called Babe. It's all about those. Is this shmoney? <laughs> Does it say shmoney? Smoney tones. Smoney tones. I don't know, honey. Sometimes they be trying to be so creative, you don't even know what the hell they're trying to say. So this one is pink. Look at that shit. Look at this. Look at that. That? Hello. Gorgeous. So yeah, I don't know what that is called. And then I have one more. This last one is called Take the Risk or Lose the Chance. Back yourself. Back yourself, fool. Back yourself. Take the chance. What does it say? Take the risk or lose the chance. Shoot. Don't say that to me, honey. I'm a gambler. And I will lose all my bread. <laughs> I will lose all my bread taking a risk, honey. Okay, so this one is like an orange, orangey toned. Really, really pretty. Gorgeous shimmers. So, yeah, so this is the stack them up, stack them up, rack them up, stack them up set. Okay, so <laughs> I got those and I did get another base for, you know, just eyeshadow base. I didn't get any of the colored ones. I was gonna try one of the colored sets or whatever, but I was like, I got colored base that I don't use. Why am I buying more? So anyways, this one is, I believe, Rumor 03. I used Rumor 04, but it was out of stock. So I decided to go ahead and try this one. It's a little bit lighter. I'll use it for my more colorful looks. Okay, so it looks like I have some of the cassette tape palettes so looks like a cassette tape very cute and oh that's pretty that's what it looks like isn't that pretty yeah that's really pretty vacation and so this one is like the black and gray and silver vibe same pretty cassette tape packaging and this one is set and this one let's see if I can get this plastic out of here Ooh, oh she pretty she pretty look at that she pretty yeah so this one is wedding wish and I could see you know definitely beautiful soft gorgeous wedding looks can be done with this palette so I definitely see the name matching. Ooh, I forgot about these. Okay. <laughs> I bought some bubble bath, like body scrub, bubble bath. What is this? <gasps> oh no, it spills. Ah. There's a brush in here. I think this brush came free because I don't recall purchasing it. So it looks like it's just a regular eyeshadow brush but child this stuff one of these spilled is this one this one is a summer body wash oh shimmer body wash oh and it's all sticky i'm gonna have to wash it off but look how cute super cute and so that's what it looks like it is a shimmer body wash bathe away those troubles in bubbles regret remover <laughs> I like that. Okay, she's sticky, but I like it. So I'm gonna have to wash that off. No scrubs exfoliator. This is a body scrub. So I will put this, when in doubt, scrub it out. So I'll put this next to my bathtub as well. So got that. And then this last one, I think it was a little like three piece set. It was like a three, three item kit for the little bath set. And this one is, <laughs> A sin softener, soaking away the sins of you, feeling clean, babe. Your exit's overdue, bubble bath. So this was, and I know they had like some different bubble baths. Um, and I wanted to try the different ones, but I was like, let me try this one first in this little kit. 
and see if I like it because if I don't like it, then I don't want to buy more. So anyways, that's what this looks like. Sorry about the glare, y'all, but it's in this shiny packaging. And I'm so glad it is because it made a little bit of a mess in this box. So I'm going to go put this stuff in my bathroom now so it doesn't get everywhere. These are the big boys, the big palettes. First one, the money shot. The money shot, the shmoney shot. Confidence within is something money can't buy. That is very true, honey. Very, very true. Ooh, she pretty. She pretty. Same P. Louise packaging with a pretty little thing on the front. All right, let's open her up. Let's open her up. Oh, this is the one that has the pullout box. Cute. So we got a whole pullout palette. No damage, please. No damage, please. Okay. Okay, so this is the bottom. The pull-out drawer. The pull-out drawer. Oh, she pretty. Mm-hmm. She pretty. I think today's theme is green. <laughs> what y'all think? I didn't even realize. I must have been in a green mood because I didn't even realize I had purchased so many green themed palettes in the same day okay but yeah the theme for today is green oh child now that palette says the money shot but this one is truly the money shot honey look at that yes now, if I say I don't have any green eyeshadows or I don't have the right shade of green somebody need to slap me child because I most definitely do with all these palettes today. <sighs> do y'all have that feeling when you just look at it? When you see a beautiful palette, it just, it does something to my heart. It does something to my spirit. I think it's kind of like the same with women that really love shoes or purses or perfumes or jewelry, which I like all that stuff. <laughs> But, yeah, it's like palettes, a pretty palette. It's going to make me feel some type of way. <laughs> so, yeah, honey, that one, this one is making me feel some type of way. Them greens, oh, my God. Okay, and then I have one more of their larger palettes. This one is... Watch the Queen Conquer. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, my mirror. Mirror is cracked. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, mirror is cracked. It's not like shattered, it's just cracked. So anyways, this is the first palette or the top shelf. I am gonna contact them and request a new one, but hopefully they don't ask me to send this one back because I hate having to, to return stuff. It's annoying. So that's the first shelf. And then it has this cute little chest board uh, in the center. So cute. And then the bottom shelf looks like this. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really pretty. Ciao. Why do I love the makeups so much, y'all? I don't know, but I do. So I'm gonna leave this to the side so I can contact them and let them know that my mirror is shattered and ask them to send me another one. I don't know, I always just be wanting to buy stuff, but I got this cute little backpack. It is a guest backpack and it has like this little like nautical designs on there, you know? from like, you know, being on a ship. It's really cute. So I just bought this kind of as, you know, a memory from me going on that cruise with hubby. And it says it was 189 and I got it for 
50 I think I even got it even cheaper because I think they were having a sale on the ship but oh this was cute okay so I got that and I don't know if you're familiar with ramen bags or not but it's like this is like kind of the vibe of their bags very very pretty gorgeous sophisticated bags and i actually really like them so much i kind of want to start <laughs> collecting them you know i want to kind of like clear out some of the bags that i really don't care for really don't use you know like cheaper bags and kind of start collecting these because i really like these so let's see if i like this one as much in person as i did online okay so and when you see it, you guys will probably understand why it is that I gravitated to this bag. Because baby, baby, Ooh, okay. Oh, she pretty. Oh, she is, she's bigger, I think, than I thought she was. She is pretty, look at that. And it's so funny because these bags actually give me like a cross between like modern retro and hip and stylish and grandma. It's it's like sometimes I look at them and I'm like, that is screaming grandma. And then other times I look at it and it's like, child, if I don't see this with a cute pair of jeans a uh, white tee or black tee or tank top or something like that. Some either really pretty, colorful, you know, shoes or, you know, like some hip sneaks or whatever to wear with this. It's like, I really feel like, you know, I can like style this up in different ways, but the quality is just, child, it is amazing. So yeah absolutely gorgeous she does have a longer strap i'm not sure if this is a crossbody situation it doesn't look long enough for that it looks like you know a shoulder strap but it has the gold hardware it has the uh, duster bag inside so you can keep your bag nice so that's what the inside looks like you know you have your zipper pocket you know another pocket it looks like right here yeah I can't oh that's a zipper so yeah anyway so very very nice size bag obviously you can wear this with anything <laughs> anything because it has so many freaking colors it's gorgeous like I said it feels as nice as it looks this quality is very nice it doesn't feel or look like plastic or pleather or anything like that in person she is gorgeous so anywho this is my second bag if i ever do like a bag um you know showing all my bags and stuff then i'll show you my other one they have beautiful ones they have you know just plain ones as you saw in that picture black um gray topes tans blues purples just all kinds of colors solid colors they're not all like this obviously but the quality just the way they look and they have small ones large ones cross bodies ones for your um you know portfolios for work and stuff like that so it's like they got something for everybody so check them out yeah so that's that that's it that's the last item that i wanted to show you guys and i'm going to end this vlog here love y'all i'll see you in the next one peace